being watchful. Look up the Greek word if you want. It means to be very alert, looking to the left and the right, the idea of, of, of coming, impending danger. On a broader scale, based on biblical revelation, biblical truth, where the Holy Spirit shows us in Scripture that seducing spirits will come, that counterfeit signs, wonders, and miracles, and the secret power of lawlessness, this massive ramping up as we approach the day of the Antichrist. Well, that's all giving us preemptive insight. Helps us to be watchful. How can, be, how can we be watchful if we don't know the Word of God? May the Spirit of God impress upon us the urgency, the need for you and I as believers to be powerfully, powerfully prepared, powerfully ready in our walk, in our prayer, in our reliance on the Holy Spirit, in our warfare, in our release of authority. Listen, when's the last time you've attacked the enemy through using your authority in Christ? When's the last time you've stood up to resist the devil? That Greek word resist means to put your foot down and stand. And you move not you don't move. The only thing that moves is the devil. Don't you give in to him. Don't you give in to him. Don't listen to his lies. You reject that fear until you feel all the presence and power of heaven, of God, of Christ himself. Listen, the righteous are as bold as a lion, the wicked flee. So get out of the fear, get out of the trepidation and cowardice. Let's repent. God has not given us a spirit of cowardice, of fear, but of what? Power. A spirit of power and love. A sound mind or a controlled disposition. An ability to be watchful. Watchful. And that's vital in our walk with the Lord. It is absolutely vital. Verse 12, Colossians chapter 4. Ephaphras, who is one of you and a servant of Christ Jesus, sends greetings. He's always wrestling in prayer for you that you may stand firm in all the will of God, mature and fully assured. Can I ask you something? Who's he wrestling with? Who's he wrestling with? He's not wrestling with God. When you know the will of God, God says, you know, this is the confidence we have in approaching God. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. We can pray confidently in the will of God and with the leading of the Spirit of the Lord. Listen, when it comes to, listen, there's times, that Greek word too, agonize. Agonize is the idea uh, used in the Greek wrestling games when there's a wrestling match going on and the, and the wrestlers are physically agonizing to try to pin down the other one to win. Well, that occurs in warfare prayer at times. That occurs when you know there's battle or attack or this or that is occurring to where you have to pray through until the enemy's work is broken and the advance of the cause of Christ is advanced. Now, this will involve, again, stand, resist, have the armor on, use your authority, attack back, clear the air, those kind of things I've mentioned. And I don't want you to forget... First Peter, uh, this is point six on page 12, the shield of faith, that we are shielded by God's power through faith. So again, stand in faith. Faith in Christ, faith in the Word. Don't move from the Word. Don't give in. To whatever Scripture word or truth biblically that you feel is being pushed or you're being attacked or being pushed to give up, that's the very area you need to grab all, all the more. You need to nail down and, and stand in faith and declare the truth all the more. Now, point seven in your notes quickly is this. Spirit-guided deliverance. In other words, when you do know that there's someone, and here's three things, becoming aware of demonic presence in somebody, um, and then when there is either manifestation or whatever, sometimes I become aware of it, and then I command in prayer the demon to manifest without without harm to the person. And when that occurs, we command, you know, sometimes how many are there to find that out. Bottom line is, again, like, like again, a great picture of this is Acts chapter 16. 